to hear that this week. We Isn't that to, a yeah. nice change? And it turns out you said it was actually <laughs> audible for our list for our viewers last week. It apparently kind of was. I, who knows? Okay. Looking for some good recommendations for a drink as I'm rather thirsty. Ellie, will you have come to the right place? Because uh, the thirst traps are... No, that's, that, 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 that wasn't going to go in the right place. That the was thirst traps? Right, I don't know. Are we thirst traps? <laughs> we could be. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the Thursday evening podcast stream. I'm Andrew. And I am Keith. You have to think about uh, it for a second. I, well, I, I was going to say something about it, and I'm ready for Lucky to, to jump in. <laughs> I got the shirt just well, for Ellie's him. kind of lucky based on her username. Well, that's true. Okay, <laughs> well. There you go. We got Lucky. It, it covers more than one person. That's good. There we go. Baker, good to see you as well. Good to see everybody Hello, here. Baker. Um, yeah. We've got a beer that we're going to have to start off the show with yes. uh, here on the About Beverages That podcast. was always going to happen. That was always going to happen. We kind of have changed things up. Um, if you guys need a little bit more time, like I said, Ellie was looking for a drink recommendation. We're actually going to have a daiquiri later uh, and also try the rum as it is just on its yeah. own. So we're going to try both those things a little bit later. But if you want to preemptively make a daiquiri, exclamation point, uh, beverages in the chat, and you can see the recipe very close to the recipe we're making. They actually use the turbinado sugar uh, recipe we're using. Did one he? That actually okay. Has, did he he did not. Oh no. I, that's not the link I put. I just found a recipe. Okay. I was not going to post. Okay. Uh, the TikTok there. There you go. The recipe is right there. I'll jump in whenever you want, Andrew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're ready for whatever you want to jump in. Ready. Into. Okay. Perfect. Got Son of a gun. I missed the starting student screen. The second best part of the show. Son of a gun. Wow. You did. That is unfortunate for you. Guardian down. It is good to see you. How are you this fine evening? Um, also, this is a super cool thing and something we have talked about for years. Years. And Guardian Down is probably one of the few people that has actually attempted to take us up on it multiple times now. The first beverage that we're about to have this evening, he actually went out and found. Okay. He actually went out and bought the beer. I'm assuming you haven't had it yet and are going to have it with us. But if not, that's totally fine. But you went out and had something that we are about to have. Then we're we're going to have a drink together. We are all going to have a drink together. And I think that is like genuinely super cool. We've talked about that forever. Because people used to ask, like, could you let us know what you're going to have? Like, maybe I'll find it. And a lot of times it was, you know, stuff that people couldn't find or right. whatever else. Yeah. But uh, we got this local beer. <laughs> yeah, we got this local are, beer. Are you local? I'm in Michigan, you yeah. bastard. I can't yeah. do it. I can't do that. It doesn't work. Stop asking me. It doesn't work that way. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, it is It is time once again for some podcasting. I'm in. Oh, wait, no. Oh, hey, wait, no, no, no. We don't, we don't have to do all that again. Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. no, we're fine. We don't have to do that. Should I grab the beer? Yeah, let's get uh, let's okay. get to that. I actually I am very excited, especially with our last experience. That's why we with, have the table right with, here with to contain rum. Your That's excitement. right. Excitement. That's right. Let's keep it down. I have to. Uh, well, try. <laughs> especially uh, after our last experience with rum, did not go well at all. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this uh, this one will go well. Right. Play now I'm curious. What was our last rum experience? Oh, you, oh let's see. You've just blocked it out. Which I wish I could. <laughs> oh, I can't God. though because I well, worked I for Trader you, Joe's. You brought. Oh, it was the Panamanian. Oh, rum. that's right. That went yeah. very poorly. The Panamanians. <laughs> if I drink, you mean Cherry Coke Zero? I'm ready. Perfect sushi. Good. Anything you want to add Cherry does not Coke have to be Zero. alcohol. Of course, of course we, not. We a lot of times do have alcohol, and that's like a great thing too. But like I said, if you don't want to or can't or don't whatever, it's fine. Pilk, Pilk? also an option. Yes. LG Mountain Dick. LG, Dilk. how's it going? Mountain Dilk, Whoa. that's available yes. too. That's Mountain Mountain Dil, Dilk. No, Dilk. it was Dilk. Yeah. Was, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Mountain I Dilk. think I said the wrong thing, but oh, that's okay. That's all right. Uh, that's, uh, that's all good. Sushi, it is LG's good to see here. you. LG, right. it is great to see you too. Hopefully, uh, LG. Uh, do you want to tell how, how you what what happened to you, LG? You want to tell Uh-oh. Keith? I didn't talk to him about it. Oh no, he hurt himself. Oh oh my gosh, he, he injured himself. Uh oh. Oh, we should pop up on the Something screen right now. Something in northern Arizona caused pain. You got a sweet picture of you hurting yourself? I don't know if I want to see Ooh. that. He was saving an elderly woman that was crossing the street. He stopped a car with his bare hand, somehow broke his hand. This oh, is, wow. This is the story okay. we have adopted for how he okay. broke his hand. But apparently it's healing better. LG's so not that's, a soup, That's is a good it? thing. <laughs> Stop in the car. Okay. Sorry, just did yeah. it. Just made it happen. <laughs> just made it happen very easily. Um beverage great notion blueberry muffin sour ale we had uh, been talked about this brewery by uh, uh chungus in chat slash now uh sam in chat changed his username uh, okay so we've been talked to about the, not this one specifically but other beers from them i found this one was pretty excited uh, there's lots I, of I, I see great notion actually quite a bit when i'm at tap and bottle which i haven't been there in a while i gotta get there because i do still have a 60 dollar credit that i need to and we also Spend. have a you know a f- festivity coming up, so maybe we should use some of that credit. Up. Yeah, I guess I could. Could do that. You got the phone there. Do hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, I can smell the blueberry. I can. That blueberry it's is like, very uh, pungent to the nostrils, like but in a, a good way. The Trader Joe's, if you've ever had the blueberry waffles, even when you just 
pulling the box out of the freezer or ringing them up, you can smell that that blueberry. That's what that is. That's where that, that phrase is reminiscent came from. of. Smell the blueberry. Stop and smell the blueberry. Stop and smell. Stop the blueberry. and smell yeah. the waffle. Smell the glove. Smell Wait, the glove. No, that's, yeah. something. that's something different. <laughs> you have a half naked woman tied <laughs> down, and you're shoving a glove in her face. <laughs> ah, it's Final Tap. Good times. Uh, yeah, that that uh, Ooh, that yeah. aroma is fantastic. That, that is, literally that smells is, like a fresh blueberry. It does. A blueberry uh, and, muffin. And, and, yeah, it does. Oh wait, <laughs> well, that's what this is. Good. Well, oh they're god, on the right. To, they, they're, they're off to a good start, at least. They're off to a very good start. That wait. Wait, is it LG post this picture? Is this your? Hand? Did you just post a picture of your hand? Oh my god, of the actual X-rays. Let's go. So these are all the uh, pins oh. that he's got in his finger. So is your finger? Ouch. So wait, which finger is that? Not the middle finger. Oh, and is that already... Do you already have the oh, pins gosh. out now? Or no, wait, that's the pre-picture. Okay, yeah, I see like what's a, going on now. It's in reverse it's like order. shattered dreams there. It's, it's like Johnny, I'm reading Johnny an anime. I gotta go from right to left. Yeah. <laughs> shattered fingers. Shattered fingers. Ow, that looks... Ah, that looks painful. So is that... And is that your me. is that your pointing finger? Is that your pointer finger? Is that is that what broke? Oh yeah, I think so. Is that Probably what that would be? Like that, I yeah. can't quite see the thumb. Oh, pinky. I was wondering. Oh, it is that way. Plate and seven screws will be there forever. Wow. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. A memento of hopefully something good. Yeah, what yeah, what was it? Yeah, what was it that actually happened? I'm sorry. We've all made jokes about it and you've appreciated that, but what actually happened? You were like lifting up a car that to save a stray dog or something. The, I can't remember what it was. Tell that's me the, the story. pinky. That's the pinky. Wow, Are okay. you sure that's the pinky? You seems like you have a really long pinky. That can't be the pinky. No, although that middle must be even. Yeah, must be. It's just kind of distorted because it looks. That's got to be. I'm sorry. It's that's not. That's not a pinky. <laughs> I think I'll I'm telling it. you, it's not. I'm sorry. You've shown me a picture. I think of, just because of the way the 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 way that looks. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 some of the other fingers are cut off, so it would lead us to believe. Oh, okay, just because of how the X-ray the, happened. Yeah. Well, just because the way those so fingers, short. right? And there's a, there's a middle finger. Yeah, yeah, but not. So I guess when you look at the first, yes. well, the second oh, yeah, picture, yeah, yeah. Slide, that one looks yeah. a little more. Okay, yeah. dang. Yeah, that is painful. Foot Football on the beach in Mexico. Well, at least did, that, did you win? Was it catching the winning touchdown? Very expensive souvenir. That how sucks. Did you do that playing football on the beach. Have you taken a sip yet? Yeah, I have. Okay, damn it. I'm behind. This smells absolutely very, fantastic. I was very distracted. I'm very scared because usually when something smells this good, it usually can't live up to the taste, but I'm hoping it does. Guardian Down, cheers if you're having yours right now, too. good it's very good it could be a could be a little sweeter it could be a little sweeter i thought it might be a little sweeter for the muffin it's more toward the tart yes which took me a second more like real you know classic like blueberry like i said yeah. it's good it just yeah it took my brain a second because what i was smelling was more was what it says blueberry yeah, muffin blueberry muffin so yeah. i was getting that sugar so i thought i was going to get maybe more of like a lactose kind of sweet and then that pop of the the blueberry but this is still really good yeah it's just like i said i had to reacclimate the brain a little bit to what i was what i was seeking uh, flavor wise but this is this is good these are not cheap i think this was around six bucks so this is kind of yeah I mean, again it's in that drecker pricing like some of those ones yeah. that we've had a lot of these specialty sours and what's um, great notion out of where are they from um i'll have to look i don't remember off the I've, top of my I've head seen it. oh well, hello pocket hey pocket how's it going good to see you pocket and uh pocket and son will be playing uh, some aram tonight as they oh. listen to us oh okay yes. yeah. nice well, that's usually her night for doing that anyways. And uh, she has she's I've recruited. I've my son in my pocket. <laughs> used to, one time he was in like the top 8 or 10% of all people who played it. I don't, he doesn't play it as much anymore. So He's like, <clears throat> I got out of that scene. He got out. It was too much. He's out. Uh, they have locations in Alberta, the Northwest, Beaverton, Georgetown, Ballard, Sacramento, Fulfillment, and Berkeley. Oh, so California and Northern Canada? Or in, in Southern Canada? Uh, contact okay. us. This will probably give me an actual address. Please? Game, please? Just tell me where you're at. <laughs> I had a customer today. I saw him. He was... I think he bought a bottle of scotch. He, and, he was... Um, 
And that's just the reason I saw him because he was over there. And he went through the line once. And he bought a bottle I, of scotch. I don't know if he was. I don't know if he was maybe, maybe like a, a grandfather with a, with maybe a grand granddaughter or something. But she was sitting in the cart, and they were kind of cute. He had an accent, and so he came. And then, and then I saw him come in again, and I I forgot what he got that that second time. And then I, then he came in again, and I said I said you can't seem to get away from this place. Or, you know, some, I made some yeah. sort of joke. This this is the third time I've seen you in here, and he said I know. He's like every time I get out to the car, he's like they tell me they need something more. And I said, just when you think you're out, they keep pulling you back in. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, that's like the, the Godfather three. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, oh nice, so, good. Yeah, he realized yeah, it. He, he got it. He's like, yeah, kind of. And he just walked. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. Alberta. Okay. Any directions? Like, where are we talking? Are we talking Canada? Alberta. Oh, yeah. Port. Oh, so it's in Portland. Okay. Portland. The Pacific Northwest. Oh, hence the Twitter account was in a PDX or PDX. something. PDX. Like oh, that's right. Okay. All right. So, but they've got yeah. places. So, Good. West Coast. Uh, they're on the. They're, they're up on the and coast. down the West Coast. Yes. Um. This is good. I would definitely like to try some of their other stuff. Yeah. Did you say you've Absolutely. seen some of their IPAs possibly? Or I, I know I've seen Great Notion at Tap and Bottle. Um, oh, and I was also at, uh, since I was right next door for um, for some uh, physical therapy, I went into um, Caps and Corks and looked to see if they had any more of the 120. They did not. And that was where I got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, were you going to get one? Well, I thought, yeah, I'd at least get one or, you know, a couple or something to, to have because those would age. Mm-hmm. Well, and uh, you know, they were so out. I was going to buy, you know, a case for the party. On <laughs> yeah, <Saturday>. Oh God, <laughs> you know, it's a good pool beer. It's a great pool it's beer. A good pool Just beer. Chug that. Seventeen <laughs> percent. Yeah. Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> One for everybody. Um, so, I yeah, when I was there, I think there was three, and I bought two of them. Oh, okay. Because uh, I did that. Because usually there's always like the the joke online where it's like, if you find something you're really excited about, make sure you leave some for the next person. It's like. Are you kidding? Well, I'm okay. gonna drink it. Yeah, I, I mean, get. I get that if the people yeah. are taking it and they're reselling it, like right. especially that happens with bourbon, where right. people are like, "Oh, you got this in," and they're like, you know, they they make this whole big deal about like, "Oh, don't be a jerk and take." It's like if I can't find something, like, and I'm gonna drink. And I happen it, to be like, right, it, right, and right. I'm gonna drink it or have it as a give it as a gift, or if you have, yeah, yeah, yeah d- just to be a jerk or to hoard it or to have it or because you can say you got it, yeah, that's something different, so. right. So, <clears throat> but this is really good. The, the yeah. more I sip it, the more I enjoy it. Yeah. Like I liked it for, and like I said, it's, it's even more so, but the, the aroma I would say is like a 10. It's like a nine or like a nine and a half. Yeah. Like it's maybe not per, like, but it's close. It's like a nine and a half or 10. Yeah. And then the taste is like an eight. Yeah. I'll say seven and a half or eight. <clears throat> something yeah. like that. So, yeah. but still really good. I, w- I mean, I would definitely buy another one of these if I saw it, knowing and, that it was good. Yeah, and try something. And, and try and some other try stuff. Other which, things, so, um, beer subscription. What else do they have? Strawberry shortcake. Easy like Sunday morning. What is that going to be? Mimosa inspired tart ale with tangerine, orange, and mosaic hops. Guardian down. Is it a winner? Do you like it? <laughs> nice. I hope you like it too. Like I said, it is, that is definitely pretty good. I would, I would get more of these. May I ask what you paid for it in your, in your neck of the woods? Like I said, I swear for us, it was around, it was around six bucks, maybe a little more, maybe six, maybe six fifty. It's also 6%, so a little bit, uh, okay. slightly higher than you'd expect for some of these. Usually these are in the 5% range. I'm surprised that the screws have to be there forever in that pinky. Well, yeah, and he was actually trying to game the other day, too, with, uh, like, he had, because he's usually mouse and keyboard for all of his okay. gaming stuff. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I had to kind of try to use a controller because I can't, like, his finger oh, movement. Wow. So he was, he was like, yeah, and I was terrible on controller. And then he was saying that he was happy that everything was healing a lot quicker, so he was hoping okay. to get back to that. That's how you get it back in shape, you. <laughs> You use this. He's got little exercises. Yeah. He goes yeah. like this. <laughs> He's got a very tiny dumbbell. He puts a thimble on the end. You get some platelet rich uh, and <laughs> PR platelet rich injections, <laughs> platelet rich plasma injections, <laughs> so you can get back to the to the gaming world. I can't hit my right <laughs> scroll wheel. I can't do it. Uh, may not be forever. I had the plates in my wrist from a car accident that had to be removed a year later because a screw was fraying my thumb tendon. Cool. Stony. That sounds terrible. I got afraid I'm afraid thumb. about that. I'm afraid, yeah, afraid thumb tendon. Sorry, I was blurry for just also, a second, and then it got clear. Yeah, again. it's it's kind of doing that a little bit. I've okay. been that way as well. It's all right. It's all no, right. That wasn't fun. It, well, I would say that would not be. Did they have to put them back in then? Or was it like at that point, they were like, let's take them out and see how it goes? Like, I don't know how these doctors <laughs> Take it out, and your thumb just droops. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> They're like, uh, maybe you wake up, and you're like, in. I think it's good. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Harry Potter when the yeah. thing drops on his arm and... 
uh, Kenneth Branagh does the spell on him. He's like, oh, I can fix that. And they pick up his arm and it just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> $26 for a four pack. Okay. A little too expensive for me. Yeah, I, I like I said, I, I would get another one. Like, I only bought one. Like I said, where we go, we can always get singles. Um, uh, singles are ready to mingle in our beverage coolers. A- um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I would definitely get another one. I, yeah, I don't know if I'd buy a four pack. That like I said, that's yeah, that is starts to get a, with with a lot of things. It's kind of like that though too. Like with the sours, like I don't also like oh, I need a bunch of these, right? Just because because of that pricing. Nope, it was fully healed, so they went ahead and removed both plates uh, so the bone could regenerate in the holes. I've got a nice divot on the outside of my wrist where it once was. Well, you'll have to show oh. me that sometime. You're like, look at my divot. Here's my divot. <laughs> I can actually hold a golf ball right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that all worked out. So, LG, there's there's chance for you yet. You might be okay. That's you might be able to get those out there. Somewhere. Well, glad. Uh, it is a neat looking geez. picture, though. You still have the x-rays and everything? Well, you're more than welcome to post the x-rays on it if you want. <laughs> in you our, want to post your medical our, things here in the general Discord like LG know, did? Take a look. What do we call it? The Not the waiting room or the... We, we should, call it in the... Yeah. We should create the, the, a section called, called x-ray or waiting room. room or, recovery room. Yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. What a, what a funny post thing op. to pop up in the... post. <laughs> Triage, which is the before. Yeah, so post op. Post op, well, yeah. yeah we have got, well, this has both, technically. We saw the triage picture and we have a post op oh, picture. That's true. So. Yeah, from LG. Before and after. Yeah, that is, that's too, too funny. <laughs> yeah, so I know we originally, last week I was discussing wines, doing wines, and I had in Italy, I had, and I don't know the, the what winery it was, but it was a Montepulciano that uh, this restaurant had on their wine list, and we carry a couple of them at work, and they're both out of stock. Is that a region? Uh, oh, is I that think a so. varietal or is that a, a grape? I don't know. What did you research on it this week? What did you I, I didn't do any research. I just looked to see if we had it and we didn't. We didn't. So then everything went out the window. So, well, so I, <laughs> and that one, I, so that one even last week, I was like, okay, we're not going to have, I won't have that one. But I thought I was still going to have the, the Gruner Veltliner, which was the white that was predominant in Austria where we were. Mm. And we carry one that's from Hungary. And a customer, uh, a couple came through my line the other day, yesterday, and they were buying 12 of them. And I said, oh, I said, uh, I said, I was recently in Europe and I said, I was in the Wacaw Valley and. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the, uh, Thank you, uh, virtual assistant. <laughs> the virtual assistant decided to speak up there for a second. <laughs> Did you have something to say about Europe? <laughs> um. And, uh, so you and said you're recently, so, in yeah. So, so I, I told them that and, and the, the woman looked at me, she's like, Wait, did you go to Krems? And I said, actually, that's where the bike tour started. And she's like, I have never met anyone else who's been to Krems. So they were, for, anyway, we we're talking a little bit and she's like, here's my number. <laughs> and I said, uh, no, it was an older couple. Come on. And I'm a married man. Uh, so I would have said, thank you. They're like, are you kinky? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> no, no. We did not swing. Well, not with you, but no may, swinging. No, yeah, no, no swinging. I, I know most people in Krems, it's known for its swinging. No, Krems was, uh, uh, actually there's university there. Um, and the guy, like our guide, he, he's like, oh, here's, here's the university. And that's, yeah, so that's where we started. And so we, I asked them if the Gruner Veltliner, I said, um, how does it compare? And the guy's like, he said, well, it's from, this is from a different country. He said, but it's, it's pretty close. It's good. And so then I was like, oh, I need to go make sure I get one of those because we're podcasting on it. They were all gone. And it's not available again until July. <laughs> but that so person had 12. They you took you all not, my... Did you not take it out of the cart? I, I, I didn't even know I had to. If I would have known, <laughs> if I would have known, uh, if I would have known that, I, I uh, wouldn't have, I, I would have said, may I please have one for my podcast? <laughs> one for the road. <laughs> so. My roommate recently had to make a trip to Prescott, so I've got my hands on some Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Okay. Oh, those are always amazing. Right. I... We've always been married. I don't know what's going on, Ellie. That's right. We're just open with our relationship. Mm, My brother right. and I are very, we swing with each other. <laughs> no, that's so. not true at all. Trader Joe's is, sh- I, yes, Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves Trader Joe's. <laughs> and that's a, and if you're in Flagstaff, you have a little bit, it's like an hour and a half to get to the closest Trader Joe's. And that's, Prescott's not that far, but me, uh, road-wise, they get there the fastest way. You, yeah, it's like you have to kind of go around and anyway, but. So good. Well, that was good. Your friend was able to get you some dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Procure you some some dark chocolate. Yes. Your yes. money's on the dresser. Dark chocolate peanut That's butter cup. That's right. Yes. 
A little too personal for me. Good night, you know. <laughs> yes. Good night. Yeah, mm. we're getting a little too a little too much TMI. I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> Fear and Flagstaff, you have to fight for Trader Joe's products. Those things are amazing. Yeah, those are <laughs> those are really no good. No fighting those. for you right now, though, LG. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now with the left hand or whatever <laughs> hand that is. We still no, 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 it's no. gotta be the it must be the right hand? It's gotta be the right hand. Guessing? I feel that's Unless the right it's hand now. Looking like the X ray was like that. Unless I don't know. Not. I don't know. It's my right, thank right. God. Right, okay, all right. Well, that we, we got, gotta, that we got correct. Out now. Okay. Yeah, no more punches with your right hand. All then. right. <clears throat> yeah, this is... So I, a little bitterness almost at the end, too. Like, there it is. It is, and it is like, so blueberry, it's nuts. And that's what I was thinking, like, um, there is a little bit of beerness to it, which is like, you know, I was when I'm evaluating sours, I always think of for pocket. So sure. even though it's not... But there is just that little bit that kind of, I think, makes you think of that. But it's still good. It's good. I think if this had been... That blueberry flavor, but been a little sweeter. I would have said, yeah. I think she should try this one. I think it would have I gone think, over. I think this one is a little bit the other way where yeah. I think she would taste and go like, not bad, but yeah. there'd be a, a butt after that. Yep. So yep. I would say, but yeah, I, I like that. I actually kind of like that little bit of bitter. Like that just like adds even more to like actually eating, you know, the, gr the, the grape, the fruit itself, the blueberry <laughs> itself. There's grapes in here too. The blueberry grape. The blueberry grape. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, so that's, un so unfortunately the, the wine... The European, and by probably by that time we'll be like, what? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> no, huh? I want to. No, oh, I'm still no. Not as good as meat good. and cheese. Um, we'll uh, yeah, but we'll see. Hopefully, when that comes back in, then we'll we can revisit at that time. So. I'm trying to think of where we left off with uh, some of your trip last week. Like I said, we had talked about quite a bit, but I don't know if we even got into near as much of. Uh, the France part, like I said, I know you talked about some of the, you know, didn't get to do quite as much as you wanted to there. And that was the place you'd actually go yeah. back to again yeah. uh, because of the museums and other things. But you did get to actually do the Eiffel Tower. And then we talked about that. Yeah, um, that was. And that, like I said, the pictures, like I said, that out of your hotel room was just that was hilarious. Crazy. Yeah. Like I said, to actually be that close and have that kind yeah. of a view. Looking straight ahead. Yeah. There's a soccer or football field oh, okay. and some buildings. But then, yeah, just. That, and, oh, oh, my gosh. There's. Oh, there's the there's building. There's Gustav Eiffel and his tower. <laughs> <It's> Gustav, <yeah. laughs> He's pitching a tower. That's right. That's, that's mm. a very random term. Have you started watching any uh, other new shows since you've been back? I know we were talking. No, about we're just focused on the, on the boys right now. Oh, okay. Season two, episode five or six, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're pretty deep into it then. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Like, or is it like, it's okay. I'm getting through it. Cause I've already started. No, I, I, I like it. Um, I, I, it doesn't affect me quite as much, but I agree. Like with pocket says it's kind of heavy. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, and, and also too, Oh, it's superheroes the, are pieces of shit and except the, for like two and the, <laughs> and the violence. Is, oh yeah. Uh, it's quite graphic. Yeah. Wait for season three. <laughs> That's you said that or, or, or Ben said that one, or maybe you both said that. Mm, I don't know. But, I would, I would agree with yeah. Ben on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Can't yeah, remember. Season, yeah. There's, yeah, there's but, some, uh, it's good, but yeah, yeah. It, it just keeps getting more and more, but yeah, the, yeah, and just, you know, Homelander and just basically what he is. And like I said, if you think about when that season came out, too, like some of those seasons, like even more directly with who was in White House and whatnot, ah, like all that kind of stuff going yeah. on, too, on top of Get, it. I mean, uh, stuff's still going on, but. Yeah, we've, uh, we've. Oh, so you've got the, to... uh, the woman with the the black haircut with Stormfront. The, yeah. Stormfront. That's why Rachel did that with her hair that one time. Oh, she really? liked that hair so much. <laughs> I was like, you realize this person's like, but I love her hair. I was like, okay. <laughs> We have these uh, orange vests that we have to wear when we go out to do cart runs. Oh, sure. So that we're covered. So you know, the legally, see if you. somebody nail and somebody hits us, then legally I can say, I had my vest on. Um, <laughs> you just throw it up in the air like a flag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, personal foul. <laughs> <laughs> Roughing the cart man. Roughing the cart man. <laughs> Roughing the card gatherer. You um, hit me with your card. But sometimes it, since man. they're so like flimsy, I try to put it on and it takes me forever. So I'll just like, sometimes I'll just throw it over my head and wear it like a, you know, like a scarf. But then the other day for somebody, I put it on and it was like almost like a cape. And I was like, oh, I'm the Homelander of card. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> what a short little cape too. Yeah. Just short little orange, orange cape. Yes. Uh. Yeah. No, no. I don't, <laughs> don't want to do that. Uh-uh. But oh my god, that's too funny! Yeah, that is uh, like I said, you know, that, that show is pretty. I, I think they've either filmed or are working on a fourth. I know there's gonna be a fourth season for sure. Yeah, I was, I was reading that. It's funny because the season right now in Destiny is Season of the Deep, and so there's this oh, giant, the deep, yeah. And they've so 
I think it was it was on Destiny when it came out, like within the first week when they were like, you know, obviously they're like, oh, the new season's out and whatever. So you, the short version is there is a giant. I would call it a fish, but it's actually a hive worm or whatever. Like I said, I won't get into the Destiny lore. But anyway, it's in it's in this tank. And this is a thing where like you're getting information like, oh, this thing knows how to defeat what it's, you know, this goofy stuff. But anyway, so it's in the tank and it's this giant thing. And the first day that it came out, like because they had pictures of it where like you could just see like the eye and like, oh, my God, what is this thing? You're like, you know, that kind of thing, this sea monster or whatever. And the uh, the boys Twitter account put up a picture of the deep riding on the back of the monster oh. and tweeted it to <laughs> Destiny. And it was very fun. We're like, oh, my God, they actually. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh, it's season of the deep, is it? Deep. And he was like on top. Of it. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I was like, that's pretty funny. Well, and there's a little uh, there's, there's a, well, at least two people. There's a, a little Breaking Bad tie there. In season of the deep? No, in um, oh. uh, in the boys. All the Billy Joel that they play. You got <laughs> constantly Is playing that for Breaking Bad. No, I don't <laughs> know. Billy Joel. Yeah. That's it's, that's funny though. The boys they play a ton. I of love Billy that. No, yeah. it's great. Yeah. The last thing I said to her was, "Don't be smirch Billy Joel." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was that was good. And then, uh, no, uh, the invisible guy she, blows up in that first season too. What? The oh, man. oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> so gross. Yeah. He's always running around naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, uh, well, all of a sudden he's just holding her hands. Oh God, yeah. that part is terrible. Yeah, because yeah, what's his name just runs by. Um, no, we were, were uh, uh, Giancarlo Esposito. Oh was, yeah, and then also that's right. I forgot he started in that season. That's why I was the cult uh, that the deep is in, or the the group that he's in. Yeah, the the like woman sort of therapist person. She's Walt's uh, ex wife or ex partner that starts oh, that business. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, For, it starts and she's gray, from Gray Matter, and, and oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Friends and uh, also Sideways and uh, the single guy. Your love's like a roller coaster. I'm hotter than a toaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We found yeah, a Beatles yeah, yeah. recording. Isn't it a Beatles Woo! recording? Yeah. That they had never, had never been discovered. <laughs> and then at the very end, thank you for my recording. They, they, they don't see him. They just hear the voice and it's like he's <laughs> taking it back from them. So yeah. I saw it. Speaking of Paul McCartney. Uh, which I'm assuming that's the impersonation you were doing there. I'm so, guessing. That's not what you were yeah, going for. Cause John, couldn't be John, John Lennon, Lennon would be a rare, yeah. it'd be a very rare, especially from the mid nineties. Yeah. Um, or, or anybody, uh, it, it could be Ringo. I guess. It could, it could have been Ringo. George Harrison in the mid nineties. Was he still alive? Yeah, he didn't die. Okay, I couldn't remember when he passed away. That was in one, um, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. God, man, that show, how long did that show even last season? One or two. Yeah. One or two. two. Um, uh, I, there was a clip the other day and it was, uh, it was Dave Grohl, uh, you know, Foo Fighters and, uh, you know, Nirvana or whatever. And he's, he see, he see, seems like such a great guy. Like he's one of those people like, God, I hope nothing ever comes out about it. Oh, yeah. He just seems like such a, like genuine, like, especially lover of music. And he is a huge Beatles fan, but I guess he and Paul McCartney have actually become really good friends so much so that like, I think when, I think when they had one of their kids, like they were like, Oh, we want to come out and see your bait. Like they like, like it's that kind of friendship wow. where they come out like okay. he and his wife and stuff like that. So this is like, a, this is interviews from several years, several years ago. Um, but he was talking about how Paul McCartney came out, whatever he, he's like, he's like, it's so weird for me. He's like, cause we've become friends, but it's like, I'm still like a fan like inside. And I'm like, he's like, so it's hard. Some, he's like, it's not difficult having conversations, but he's, he's like, it's, it's like, Oh my God, Paul McCartney's in my house. He's coming to my house. He's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, he's like, but I, he's like, I would never say that. He's like, and I, and I don't, but he was talking about how I think his, I think it was one of his daughters was like eight and they were finishing up dinner and they were going to be like, they were like, said Paul and his wife were me heading out. And she, his daughter was like, started playing the piano. Paul McCartney went down and sat on the piano and they like wrote and did like a little song together and they like made something up. And he was like, I've never done this before. He's like, I took a picture of Paul McCartney in my house. And he's like, <laughs> but he was playing a, so I felt that was justified because he was playing like how often do you get a picture of him playing a song with your daughter yeah. or your child? I was like, oh my God. And then he was like, yeah. And then the next day he remember he came down and his daughter then was like still playing that same song that they'd kind of like worked on the previous day or whatever, like that they had done something. I was like, that's that's a pretty cool little moment. Your loves like a pretty cool little moment. Hey, Berserker. Sorry, no. Thirsty guy walks into a bar. You finish it. <laughs> Berserker, thank you for the 30 months. I appreciate that's, that's it. That two is and a half super years nice. Of you and me. That's two and a half years of you and me. <laughs> Some bitch. Yeah. That's true. How are you doing? How are things this evening? Hopefully you're doing well. But thank you for the resub. That is super, super kind. 
Um, should we uh, should we go get the rum? I think we should. Should we go get the rum so that we can get to the daiquiri? I'm a little I lit. I think we should. Well, we're about to. Well, oh. we're probably not going to get lit, but we are going to no. have a, a spirit here. So we're going to go get a We've rum. got spirit. Yes, we do. I know. We're going to try and wash the taste of the previous rum out of our mouths. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's already been scrubbed from your mind. You couldn't even remember. I didn't remember it. For when <laughs> That's you, good you didn't. When, when you mentioned the rum, I immediately went back to, because I had just been fixing more stuff on the back end of the website, which I think I'm finally caught up with everything. Oh, um, wow. Nice. Yeah, that took forever. Um, I had passed by when we did the four rums from Barbados, when we tried all four of those. Oh, so that, that was like actually in my head. St. Lucia, Lucia. Lucia. Yeah, yeah. samples. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was cool. Drinking some dogfish 90 minute. Oh, that is a good one. We did the 120 just this week. I don't know if you saw that on the on the tweet or from last week. We did the 120 age in Utopia barrels. 17% or more. Yeah. That one's a big one. Your mileage may vary. Your <clears throat> mileage may vary. That is very true. Love the love love the 120 as well. I like it uh, I like it fresh. I like it aged. I like it however I can get it. The 120 minute from dogfish, I, I mean. Just so long as it can get it in your hands. That's right. Be right back. We have returned. We are back. We have returned for rum drinks, my friends. Oh. And we'll keep on drinking <laughs> till the end. <laughs> we we'll are the drinkers. drinkers. <laughs> yeah. That's a very bad version of that. Um, all right, let me open this up. Oh, that was easier than I thought. I don't know why I thought this was wax. Kind of had that sort of look. Yeah, there was something about the way it was. He just gives him that look. Just gives him yeah, that look. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. He just gives him that look. <laughs> Makes me think of Forrest Gump all of a sudden. Uh, oh, no. Well, that guy kind of sounds like that a little bit, but. From Fletch? Oh, yeah. He doesn't say yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. He just gives him that look. Yeah. I was. Uh, just gives him that look. I saw a thing from Tom Hanks the other day. It looks like white wine. It does kind of look it like does a Chardonnay. It definitely have a yeah, Chardonnay Sauvignon Blanc Very kind much of Chardonnay. look to it. Yeah, even though it is a white rum, it is actually a blend, which we'll talk about here, of a couple different white rums from the same distillery from two different areas. Um, so yeah, I saw this one recommended by someone. We've actually done a, watched a video f- before. That I've seen on TikTok that I follow on TikTok. He's a bartender, not just a bartender, Chris, not just a bartender. Um, does really great, really awesome videos, cocktail making stuff. It was um, pretty cool with the way he shook that up. And I like it. And, it keeps making me tempted to get one of those <laughs> kind of shakers. Like I said, the, the, what I think they call them a Boston shaker. I think is what yeah. those are called. Uh, like I said, where put it's the, the smaller shirt. one in. Yeah. In it, the, yeah. And then, yeah, you do the shake and then, yeah. yeah. And I need to get one of those little strainers too. And I like those coupe glasses too. Yeah. You want some coupe glasses the for coupe, your birthday? The coupe glass. So you can bring those over. <laughs> the coupe glass. Good cork. Man, it's a nice cork pop. But yeah, and we do not have a lot of familiarity with rum, so we've been wanting to get more experience in it. So, yeah, it goes back. Uh, well, most of our experience was way early on in the podcast, and then Very. with the St. Lucia, then too, which is still quite a while ago. God, yeah, we're talking <laughs> years. Can you do that in front of the mic? I'll try it. Like, I think it might have still been quiet enough. Like, maybe I'll talk for a second just so it keeps picking it up. There we go. That Ooh, was a good one. You probably heard one. that one. Did that work? You probably heard that. That was good, right? Also, I missed your comment before. The 60 minute is a year round fave for me. I like the 60 minute too. I like the 60 minute quite a bit. <laughs> um, that's just kind of those multi or a little more bitter. Um, I love all the hazies. I love I haven't all had that. No, we talk like about that. all that. Like I love all those, but I still love going back to what I consider like those West Coast roots of the classic, like Stone IPA, the Dragoon. That's why I always like that. But those kind of more multi or I like to the 90. I thought I remember liking the 90 more than the 60. I, like I, the, had the I do like the 90 more than the 60. The 60 is good. Is an easy yeah. drinker. Like, I don't know. what. The, what's the alcohol on the 60? Do you know, Berserker? Six and a half. I don't know. Such a great cork sound. I tell you, my God. Exactly. That's why you subscribe. That's why anyone comes in that's here and subscribes. That's what you cork get. Sounds. You get the sound of the cork. That's right. Exactly. The B, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees? <laughs> no, not the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> I the not, sound of the cork not the sound of the cork no none of those things <laughs> god damn it oh, now I'm not even say it and we'll let that joke go then not me no you, you for Keith of course Guardian I know shocked you aren't doing some sort of drink ASMR comes we up we will be doing a drink uh, yeah. in a little bit That we've joked about that as like a reward at some point or like a point redemption thing where we have to ASMR do, we have to do yeah that we have to do like a we're like no, I'm, yeah. I'm sipping, I'm sipping a beverage like right here. 
<laughs> Gonna have some of the, the beverage right now. <laughs> Kivo, how's it going? Good to see you. Good evening. What, Good what you just walked into? <laughs> like no, that's lucky. That's true. Beverage lucky. ASMR. Beverage ASMR. <laughs> No, I was going to say, the Beach Boys have pet sounds. We have cork sounds. Cork sounds. Oh, the there we go. Okay. Go All right. Are you <laughs> able to do glass ring music? Uh, oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, we could do that. The... <laughs> I get a lot of those live videos that pop up on my TikTok. I also, like, like, the... like watching something. Yeah, all of a sudden they're doing those. I'm like, all right, I'll listen to this for a little bit. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I fell asleep watching something. Because usually I'm watching like this, and if I do fall asleep, it, oh, yeah. my phone hits me in the yeah. head. Have you done that? <laughs> I, I haven't done that, but uh, Pocket has Oh, I that. see. Yes. Oh, Keith, yeah. Keith, the elitist over here, hasn't dropped his phone on his face while watching oh, something. I'm, no, I haven't, actually. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't usually do. No, I don't usually. But yeah, sometimes I'll, be, I'll have my phone as I'm falling asleep. But Headed to no. work, Kivo. That is a late work evening start. I'm sorry you're working such a late shift. Depending on where you are, maybe it's early morning. Oh, that's fair. Could be. Kiva, where are you at? Are you in the States? You don't have to give everything if away. You're but. in uh, like Vienna. It's uh, what? Oh, my God. Are you still in Vienna time? No, I'm This not. son of a bitch right here. I did have a setting on here. It's 9.15 p.m. It's even later. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. He's East so Coast. East Coast. All right. Heading to work. Orlando, Florida. See, Ooh. there we go. Okay. It was raining there the other day. Have you been getting some rain? I know like uh, over by Leopard, he's in Florida. He was like, all of a sudden he's like, oh, God. Like it was one of the, and he has an outside camera. All of a sudden he'll pop it up on the screen. Oh. He's like, oh, it's pouring outside. Yeah, then, that's, that's how it is in Florida. Yeah. Especially in June. Well, a lot of times. If you actually. were going to go to, like, that was my thought of, like, if you're going to go to Disney World or something, I wonder what the best time of year is to get the least amount of rain. And the rain never lasts for long. It's usually, I've heard that too. It's usually cooling and refreshing. Because even when we went in October. Does it turn gross and humid? Uh, in, well, yeah, it depends. Like, when we went in October, it would rain, but it was quick and then it would stop. But okay. when we went to Disney in October, World, probably. Uh, in, yeah, May, June, that's sticky. Okay, so yeah. not May, June, maybe October. Maybe October. Okay. But I don't know. Let's ask the Florida folks. I know. Yeah. When should we go to Disney? We have people. <laughs> We're going yeah. to that area, Kiva. When should we, we go? Yeah, because we, uh, Pog and I, we've definitely talked about revisiting um, uh, Universal Studios in Florida uh, at some time. So you should take a nap all day, Monday through Wednesday from 11 a.m. Eastern until the stream gets called, except the most Thursday evenings. Guardian down, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Not in the summer. Universal is fun. Oh, I oh, actually yeah. sent something to um, to Joe and our two nieces because uh, The Last of Us. You you're at least a little bit know what that is. I think I know what that, that is. is. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the video game that then they turned into the HBO show that's been very popular. Okay, or whatever, and the right. video game is obviously amazing, and so is the show. Um, Universal is going to do like as part of their Halloween horror stuff. They're going to do like a Last of Us like either house or something like that. You know, so it'd be like this these spore like zombie thing. I was like. I was like, oh God, I'm like, would you guys do that? Well, Pocket would do that. I'm sure. She, no, sure. She and, uh, you have to make her watch the show. The two of them, they love have... the, the uh, when Ben and uh, his buddy went, yeah, they went to those, those horror nights. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And enjoyed that. That's those. usually Quite not for me. I went in March and it was great. Yeah, okay. There we that. go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you either got to go warm. before, yeah, before the you summer. Hit, like April. Yeah. Kibo says, not in the summer. Not in the summer. Okay. All right. Let's it get is to time. This. Should we get to it? We get to the bedroom. Keith, are you thirsty? I, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I have, well, I should reduce my expectations. Oh no. Allow Ooh. me to dispel your misconceptions. Uh, thank you, father. <laughs> <laughs> I healed a piano. Well, yeah, but who would have thought that I would have had someone come in here to fix it? Like yeah. that logic is also kind of funny. <laughs> Looking in the mirror is enough horror for you. Exactly. Exactly. All right. You can have a rim shot on that. Wow. This is the abuse I take. God. Hey, as long as they keep subscribing, right? <laughs> We'll, abuse, we'll if, take your abuse. If you need to take it out of me, yeah. I guess it's okay. <laughs> we'll take your abuse. <laughs> we'll take your and, abuse. You know, a little bit of sub money. <laughs> take your no, abuse. No abuse and just a follow. <laughs> yeah, that That's right. Come is, on. That is painful. That is That's right. Good. I ban those people. <laughs> Guardian Down gets to pass. He's also, you know, picking up the beers that we have on the podcast. That's too, true. Trying those Absolutely. with us, which is very cool. So, ha ha! I just turned that off. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we'll have to do it. Well, wait, will it come up? I doubt it will. We'll have to do that after. We we're about to record the podcast, so I turned it off. See? <laughs> I don't know what it'll take for me just to get a timeout. I, I don't know either. I didn't time you out the other day with your one thing. You're we like, most people would time me out for that. I was like, hey, you're fine. I know you. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll definitely have to redeem Good to Heal. We'll do. Yeah, we will redeem Good to Heal here uh, shortly once we finish with the first part of the podcast. 
Um, I'm assuming we'll try and tie these together. Like even if we take a little bit of a break in yeah. between, I'll make them into one. Yeah, no, that okay. sounds good. Might as Mentally, well. It's kind of like old school. Well, I suppose we used to actually have a separate podcast. Yeah, that's but true. New school is merging. That used to be the our favorite. That unified. used to be our thing. We'd have multiple podcasts. So like, well, we're going to buy all these spirits. Yeah. The whole next one is mixed drinks. Might with as well do something else with them. Yeah, that's that right. That was always funny. That's right. <clears throat> So on the podcast, we have had a few different rums in the past uh, of uh, varying qualities and successes, at least yes. to our palate. Yep. Um, the last one, which I had actually put out of memory, uh, you had recently mentioned you. that was from that was a Trader Joe's one, right? Yeah, that was an exclusive uh, pan, uh, Panamanian rum aged in like wine barrels, styrofoam kegs, five year. And yeah, <laughs> didn't go over well, though, didn't for go us over at well. least. But what is the good thing about Trader Joe's that you even took a part of it? I returned it. And you were able to return it and get your money back. We did not like it, so we were able to return it. So there you go. That yeah. is always a very nice thing. Don't, Absolutely. Ab- don't abuse it, chat. Absolutely. But that is a nice thing about uh, a place like Trader Joe's. Of course. Um, this one we would not be able to return if we don't like it. But um, the rum that we have for us today uh, was suggested by someone that I follow on TikTok. It is, his name is uh, Chris. He goes by Not Just a Bartender. Um, we've done a drink of his previously. If you go back into the archives and go looking for that, uh, you can find it. Uh, at our website, BobBeverages.com, or on YouTube. Was that um, the Brown Derby? It was the Brown Derby, yeah. Okay. Uh, and like I said, that one was excellent. This was not only a rum that he had suggested was very good, but he also, uh, on top of that, suggested that this would be his deathbed cocktail. Yeah, he said he would de- if he was on an island. Uh, yeah, all, all kinds of things. I, I watched that uh, link that you sent me, mm-hmm. so thank you for that. But yeah, he, was, he definitely is a proponent of this particular particular cocktail that we will have so both of these things are what we have for this give it a shot i'm andrew and i'm keith and we are about beverages.com and the beverage that we are about today is the uh probitas rum from four square distilling that is correct it is a blend of uh rums from jamaica and from barbados yes it's a white rum it is a white rum but as you can see it almost has a chardonnay wine-esque look it, to it that was a good uh, we had somebody comment earlier uh, in, in chat. chat yeah and that was a very i hadn't thought about it that way but that's a perfect way to say it so now this is aged in uh like i said let's see uh the coffee still like i always kind of throws me off a little bit here and you did some quick research on that so what is that because we always think wait there's coffee in there it's I mean, not yeah coffee it's, c-o-f-f-e-y i'm just going to read from here so you'll uh so it's a uh it is a still that was designed by aeneas coffee in 1830 it's a more efficient alternative to the pot still capable of continuous di- distillation by reheating the liquid rather than requiring distillation in batches and can produce higher abv spirits than pot stills so this one is a little bit higher than what you normally get usually most rums like at least of, of this range are usually 80 proof this one is uh 94 uh, on the proof there yep. so i know there's a, little a bit more there uh japanese whiskey that i know one of my uh, co-workers is a big fan of and it's the nikka and it's a uh, coffee still so oh yes uh, yeah whiskey japanese yeah you've whiskey. talked about yep. that a few times yep. but anyway so we're going to give this uh give this a shot huh? hence the name of the podcast <laughs> uh we're going to try this just the way it is and then we we're going to make the cocktail that he actually made in the video just a classic daiquiri so which i we were talking pre-show i honestly don't know if i've ever had a daiquiri in my entire life because usually when i think of that i think of people having banana da- like really funky thing like banana strawberry da- like not just this like a very you know almost uh like it's, it's i mean it's literally almost like a whiskey sour sub in the rum kind of thing like there's you know some very it's that classic sour cocktail kind of thing yeah so all right to the aroma yeah, absolutely do you know the muffin man the we muffin have, man uh... the muffin man well I- well, I'll stay for the tail, but leaving the... Co- oh, my God. Leaving it right there. We've got there a couple of uh, redemptions we have I to know. We've got to do, too. Everyone stop. The redemptions <laughs> are turned off because we're recording the podcast. I knew you guys would be dirty like this. I knew it would happen. Or it also could be just that trigger fire is broken and it would have gone on anyway. Who knows? We'll find out. As soon as we are done with this tasting portion of the podcast, we will get both of those redeemed. Actually, I don't know. Is one of them up again? What do we have? Good to heal. Good to heal is one of them. Is that one available? Oh, in three seconds. Okay, so let's see if this is actually functioning. Nope. See, it's just not even working. Oh. Dang it. So ridiculous. Let's see if the other one will work. Well, is the other one? That one's probably going to take longer. We'll see. Was it Singing Bush? That one available? That one happened very recently. That's got another four minutes. Oh, my God. That's a long cool down. <laughs> This is not a euphemism. That is, that is a long cool down right there. Taste this. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll taste what we choose. 
points try and get these back on track it was working like a bunch the other day it was funny and then i think we had like one that didn't work i think he lives on drury lane <laughs> exactly there you go baker perfect nice uh Oh, let's write these. I think these. Heal, edit. Put that on. No cooldown. Let's see if we can get this one to work at all. Now, Rebecca, there counseling is. people is what I do. Please let me help you. All right, Fraser. It's just that I can't seem to make anything work. Is Robin there a premium subscription guardian down? Because I could not bar. find one. My career is at a standstill. <laughs> I'm miserable. I'm lonely. And now. I have to sell my Mercedes. I see. Well, I'll, uh, I'll give you $5,000 cash and take up your payments. 6000 firm. Deal. Thank you. Damn, it's good to heal. Here we go. We got that one. Let's see if we can get the other one to work, which was uh, Singing Bush, which was redeemed the other day, too. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Just the cool. All right, this one's been fixed. We need to go back in here, because we've got to not forget that cooldown back on. Singing Bush. Edit, take that off, go there, and we'll bush it up here. Are you the singing bush? I don't know why it works in them. Pay attention and listen. Are you the singing bush? Hello? Hi. Hi. Give me some time to blow. <laughs> Give me some time. That one, yeah. Forget Give it. me some I time. The singing bush. <laughs> Give me some time. There we go. Uh, there we go. Fix. Their, their channel points were not used in vain. That's right. I know. Okay. I have to remember. You don't want to those, see that happen. I have to remember all those things. Yeah, if there is a premium subscription, like I literally looked for it when it was like two weeks ago when it was like barely even working Guardian now, like being serious. So, like I know you're kind of making a joke, but seriously, like I went and looked. I'm like, is there like a five or ten dollar subscription? Like I will consider it if it's like you're guaranteed that like, you know, that they have server downtime or whatever else. Because I have like other ideas for clips I want to put up and it's literally made my ex enthusiasm to make more go down the drain because I'm like, well, if they're barely going to work, like I don't want to put in several hours worth of work to put up more clips. And, yeah. You know. But yeah, if there was an option, the only thing there was, there was an option where you could, you could store more things, but I don't, I'm not even close to their limit of what you can store because of the way I encode my files because they take up less space. So that was like the only option there. I think there was like a $5 pay for their Patreon and that was all you got. And I was like, okay, if, it, if there's not a server thing, then I kind of don't care. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Almost a little free. How about the rum? Oh, yeah. I was like, that's very kind. How sweet. about the rum, though? <laughs> yeah. A little sweet. A little sweet. <laughs> uh, it's almost a little fruit. Even though I know it's distilled from sugar, so it's not, there's no fruit involved in this. But no, but sometimes maybe the fermentation, depending on, maybe depending the, on the molasses or whatever yeah. that's in there, or what they. But there's like a little like, almost grapey, just light white grape, or uh, and just sweet. I, but I, I like it. I almost got something that was like a hint toward like earthy. I guess would be the better yeah. way to say it, like something like that, along with that sweet. That there is something. Yeah. There's a little more depth there than I thought there would be for it being, uh, like I said, this kind of a, a neutral rum. So yeah. uh, I'm interested not only to taste, but even probably more interested in the, <laughs> the the beverage that we will be mixing in a little bit. But to the taste, so first. far so good, though. Yep. Who is it? The that's the rum. Dr. Dr. Taco? Dr. Taco? Okay. Figures the one time we do run, he's not here. Where are you? Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I would like to try more rums. I don't... You know, I, but I want to be guided in the right direction. Whereas, like, with whiskeys and bourbons and scotches... I've had enough where I kind of 
either from doing enough reading, having suggestions, all that stuff put together, plus knowing my tastes and my palate, I'm able to pick out and yeah. I will be more adventuresome with like, oh, I'm going to grab this $50 yeah. or $60 bottle. Whereas with rum, it's almost just like, you know, Greek. I think the one thing he said was what, stay away from Panama, Dominican and Panama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, at least why rum. didn't we listen? I think he said rum nerds. Well, that was that night though. He was actually on that night. We were trying. Oh, that one, he was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He happened to join us. And I know another time he had talked rum with us and he like part of a rum Consortium. Tasting group or something. Oh. Yeah, like, something like that. Yeah. Illuminati and, um, of rum um, drinkers. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. Lives on Drury Lane. That first Shrek movie is pretty good. I've never seen it all the way through. First one's good. Second Half one's still it. pretty good. Did my fastest ghost clear earlier? What was your time, Kivo? That's nice. Always nice getting through a dungeon expeditiously. So would your next big trip Europe again or would you do something like have you guys like has that been like even if it's just been like thrown out there like has there been any discussion of what the next place would be um, would you so would you do that again or would it be like no we'd go I'm guessing our next vacation Canada. would probably not be oh. with Ben oh because uh, he might do something different next year but um, the next one we actually talked about as a family was Australia oh that would uh, be a long but then, that's a long flight but that yeah 15 hours i heard yeah. oh that's then, oh that's better than i thought yeah. i was th oh, i was thinking isn't new zealand even further they're fairly close but you're probably yeah. maybe about okay. the same highly recommend scandinavia oh oh look at this cult the, is here in the, the chat european traveler we, we barely mentioned a little yes, bit of europe yes. and there he comes out of the woodworks um, good to see you good to see you when we talked about we would go back to go back to europe then too australia mm -hmm. though interesting yeah that was the next. Everything in Australia wants to kill you, though. Yes. <laughs> Insects, everything. Lots of, it's all coming for you. Lots of poisonous badness there. Lots but. of poisonous badness. Mm -hmm. 43 minutes, two phase, both bosses. Nice, Kivo. Good job. Following for 10 months and 18 days. Oh, my God. To the minute. Oh, wow. that you followed okay. there. Nice. I don't think I have a countage. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> a countage. A countage. A, a countage. A countage. A countage. You ready? Yep. Are you sure? As sure as I'll ever be. Okay. Yeah. South America is fantastic but problematic. I love Cuba. Can you just go to Cuba now from America? How does that work? I think you is can. Is that open now? I think so. <laughs> Speaking of Cuba, we were, we've been watching a little bit of Frasier again. Oh, okay. We're going to get back up past you again. By the time <laughs> actually get to the I've final watched episode. it all. Did you finally finish oh, yeah, I finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. did finally finish it. Yeah, once. <laughs> uh, follow it seven months nine days five hours guardian down for one year ten months and ten days followage followage i like the hours thing so that means like in theory that guardian down checked this time one year ten months and ten days ago that was like this was like when he walked in the doors maybe during a podcast okay. maybe that's funny i like that um but uh they were it was uh martin had a box of cuban cigars and they're like, oh, aren't those illegal in this country? And he's like, yeah, a buddy of mine confiscated them from someone trying to bring it through customs. When are people going to learn that rules are rules? <laughs> I was like, that's super clever. <laughs> Worst decision ever. Ish. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. The only thing I know is that I like the body. I do too. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's got kind of a nice viscosity to it. It's a yeah. little like olive oil ish. Yeah. Um, I can't describe the rest of it though. It's it, it's got a little. It's got a nice spice to it. It, yeah. I, it honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of that uh, of that one of the the uh, Japanese whiskeys that we had, the lighter one uh, okay. that was like kind of like it kind of because that kind of had this body had a little bit of that kind of. Um, like I said, there's a little sweetness in there. Uh, I think some of that graping, like I even get like a little bit of that, a little bit, like I said, a little bit of yeah. sweet and a little spice, like even with every sip, yeah, like it still kind of stays uh, spicy, which is nice. 
um, to go with that with that body. I think it's good. Like I said, I it's, for me, like it obviously wouldn't be directly a sipper. This probably seems like it is going to be an excellent blender in my yeah. opinion, but we'll find out There's here a little very bit shortly. Like, yeah, cinnamon almost in mm-hmm. there. Yeah, where it sits. I think that is yeah. going to come through nicely with the acidity of the cocktail that we're going to have. So I think this yeah. is going to be a great choice for that. Would I drink this on its own? Probably not. I would want. I would probably want a darker rum, something with a little more depth. Uh, which is just you know what I usually I'm intrigued by this though but uh, but yeah I think it will make a I'm looking forward to seeing how it enhance or how it stands out in the mixed drink they were going to make all right we'll wait no longer we're going to uh, time lapse here very quickly and we're going to go uh, make that daiquiri that we uh, just spoke of so we'll be right back perfect Russia is particularly beautiful. I mean, this is the problem. The world is a beautiful place. The world is a beautiful place. It's just the people in it are kind of sometimes bad. That's that's kind of the problem. And I will bust out the Merlot here in just a second. I had it turned off because we were doing the podcast. Had it turned off. At least that's what I'll claim because we were doing the podcast. True, though. Yes, it is mostly true. They caused an explosion. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no Oh, wait. That's from Ghostbusters. <laughs> Uh, all right actually that one was maybe was already turned off okay let's see down points do that we'll hit the refresh have you guys ever tried ouzo like once randomly years ago yeah, yeah i had ouzo 20 licorice it's yeah. very licorice-y but i'm sure John there are Joy's better wedding, ones actually. i'm sure there are better ones eric i actually had eric, a, i actually had it at a greek festival eric suggested that he's like let's drink ouzo i was like all right <laughs> Three beers in. All right. Yeah. And if they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking Merlot. Okay, okay. <laughs> Relax, Miles. Jesus, no Merlot. <laughs> and there we go. Good Uzo will kick your ass and not apologize for it. Damn. I don't know if I needed that out of beverage. Ahoy, oh, beverage Cope boys. Cope, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. We are uh, part way through our rum tasting right now. Rum and then into, we're about to go make the mixed drink here very shortly. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How are your dogs, plural? Dogs, Mr. plural? Mr. Cope just got another dog. Oh, I didn't know there, even know there was one. There was one. Okay. Now, now two. there's two. What, what was once one is now two. Now two. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, nine month old. Is it a, what is it? Is it a labradoodle? What is, what is, are they both that, Cope? I'm sorry. I have space in here. Uh, good to heal. No Merlot is the one I needed to change. Boop. Dog training is depleting my sanity. You were talking about that. Yeah, that is that is a lot. Both golden doodles. There you go. Okay. Good. So that's a golden retriever and a poodle? Is that I what guess. that is? Yeah. I don't know. The picture you put up, it was adorable. So whatever it was, it's a sweet looking dog. <laughs> so that's like all about it. Yep. Okay. Wow. That's That seems like a very... so. Outside looking in, you tell me if I'm right. So when I think golden retriever, I think energetic, playful, very smart. Poodle, I don't know as much about, but I always remember uh, owner of uh, Arbuckle used to say that they were super smart at like poodles. Like, like he always, that was like his dream. That was a standard poodle. Really? Yeah. He actually told me that one time. He's like, that huh. was like if they hadn't had the dogs that they had. All the, all the great dance. That was the one he wanted to have was okay. he wanted to actually have a stand because they were supposed to be like one of the most intelligent. So huh. high energy, very smart, very, yeah. Okay. That's, okay. that sounds about right. Yeah. That sounds definitely about right. Now, since you've been going through all the dog training stress, and I know you've been kind of like taking, because you do your little kind of like, you know, flushes, taking a break. Have you, have you dipped into anything just to kind of, you know, quell, quell the bad feelings, quell the sadness? Buddhas are super smart, but a whole lot of attitude. Okay, I did not know about the attitude part. I, know, I just know they were super know. smart. <laughs> what was that? A whole lot of attitude. <laughs> Got a whole lot of attitude. Oh, okay. Meow. Going for that Zeppelin. Okay. Yep. No, no, you no, need no, a no. poodle, <laughs> baby. I'm not a poodle. Not a labradoodle. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. send you a golden doodle. <laughs> uh. So stupid, baby. You need a leash. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give you my leash. Uh. Uh. Gonna give you my leash. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Want a golden a doodle? Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we like this? Uh, it's the rum. Uh, no. Duty, I'm having a few whiskeys this weekend, undoubtedly. Having a few whiskeys and probably playing some Diablo. Is that what we're going to be doing? I bet that's what it's going to be. Diablo. Now, this is a game that has taken the world by storm. Oh, Aurora. 
Laura, thank you for the raid. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when we're recording a podcast and is that the one? No. This one? Hey, I got it up in time. All right. That's what she said. Oh. Aurora, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream? How was the rest of your Dishonored playthrough? If you guys are not following Aurora, you have made grave mistakes and you should fix those right now. I think that's what they say. Grave error, grave danger. Is that what they say? Grave error? What is it? What is it? What's the, uh, what's the technical term for that? You don't know? What? <laughs> technical <laughs> term. Great. What is it? You're in grave danger, grave, grave uh, mistake. What is it? Yeah, well, there's a lot of, wait. Yeah. That's uh, from a few good men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grave there, danger. Is, is, there, it, another is there another kind? Is there another yeah. kind? There you go. <laughs> another kind. Uh, yes. Please click the heart at the top of the screen and go follow Aurora. She's super awesome. Does a variety of content, a lot of destiny, but some other games as well. Hence uh, dishonored. I always like also putting this up uh, into the stream as well. Cause that heart for some reason goes away a little quickly, which bothers me. And uh, the love we have for people that come in with their with their raids does not go away. It, does course. not go away that quickly. So yeah, <clears throat> right click on the link I put in chat, Never open up fades. a tab, hit the follow button, do so. She is super awesome, and we appreciate that so much. A crazy, how's it going? Good to see you. Got my companion dog recently, a little beagle called Asmodeus. I like that. It's barked uh, its beautiful little head away at the postman the first time they met, then proceeded to roll over and accept Tummy Rub's idiot. It's supposed to unleash hell and terror. <laughs> oh, man. It was, supposed to be, it was supposed to be like something from Diablo. But thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully the rest of your Dishonored stream went very well. Appreciate that so much. Uh, I don't know why that's not quite. I like that centered a little better. There we go. It's off just a little bit. I couldn't dig it. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I would. Do, do you feel this would be like, so if you actually did buy this, let's take that into account. Let's pretend okay. that you, let's pretend, bought that, this. let's pretend that you money went above no and object. beyond money is no object. I bought a room. You bought this. Would you ever go, oh, I'm going to have a sip of, or would you, oh, like, again, we're, we're going to find out about the mixture. Let's assume that the mixed drink is delicious. <laughs> would you ever consider then having this this way? I'm intrigued enough by it to revisit it, I guess. Okay. Uh, at a later time. Yeah. yeah. If I, if I had a bottle of this, because there, there is something about the aroma that I did obviously does say the tropics to me. Does, yeah. Um, so I like that. It does, it does kind of take me back to, to that sort of place. And then. <laughs> Not as Money much is still object, dude. Swans off to foreign nation states for holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> it only took you over fifty years to finally get to Europe. So oh just, yeah, you've been saving for a while. Oh yeah, no, we've been waiting <laughs> for just the right opportunity. You've been waiting. That's right. <laughs> for a trip for a like you, continent like you. Yes. There we go. Bugging me. Not in the right spot. Um, all right, should all right. we go? Should we go make a mixed drink? I think we should. I'm looking forward to that. All right, so we're gonna go take a break. It'll probably take a little bit longer because we're actually gonna make the drink uh, and get it all ready to go, and then we'll come back here and talk about the daiquiri. If you guys want to know what the recipe is, or at least very close to the recipe that we're using, exclamation point uh, beverage command in chat. Uh, the very last link uh, links to the recipe. The only thing we are doing different is we are going um, oh, different in a couple ways. So we're doing. The recipe that's there, the proportions are the same, but the only thing we are doing differently is we're doing the recipe that uh, I got, like I said, from the guy that I like to follow on TikTok, uh, Chris. It's not just a, bar not just a bartender. Um, he uses, a, at least in that one, he used a regular, just a granulated sugar, uh, simple syrup. And he did mention that you could use other ones to bring out the complexity and stuff like that. Yeah. We just didn't do that. I didn't have any turbinado sugar, which is what this one uses. Um, the only other thing he did, too, which I don't have any absinthe lying around yeah. the house. I like he has a spritzer of absinthe. I thought that looked really cool. Yeah. Like, at some point, I need to get that because that, literally, I've seen that done with a bunch of different cocktails. Okay. Um, so maybe I'll have to get, I don't know if they make some quality 375 mil bottles of absinthe, so I'm not going to use it for yeah. much else. Uh, but he also added that to the drink just for some extra aromatics. So that would be yep. the only other slight changes. But for the most part, we're going pretty classic here. If you were to want a cheap holiday that would uh, reconnect you with history, Egypt is a wonderful option because of the currency exchange rate. You could get by uh, quite well on a few hundred bucks. Well, that's that's definitely good. Now to my, my wife, she definitely wants to go there. And actually, uh, last year, a form, former co-worker of mine said he took that off the bucket list because he, he visited there. So, oh, to Egypt? Uh, yeah, Ethan. Oh, nice. Uh, went to, yeah, he sent me some pictures because I had texted him about, hey, are you going to the wine dinner this week or this month? And he's like, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. 
Because I'm in Egypt. <laughs> I'd stepped out to Egypt. To Egypt. <laughs> Egypt. I mean, I would love, like I said, the pyramids, obviously, yeah. and the, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what else I'd want. Like, it was all I just think of is hot and sand, which is probably and incorrect. Danger. And danger. Danger. You can get little travel bottle sizes of absinthe. <laughs> bet, okay. you, bet you can if you know the right dealer on the streets. He's like, <laughs> absinthe. You want the good stuff? <laughs> are you just spritzing it? Or you want, yeah. Are you, are you, are you, are you losing? Just are you losing? Are you spritzing, spritzing, spritzing you losing? your glasses? HJ, it's good to see you as well. Yeah, but anyway, so. Let's go make a drink. Let's go make a drink. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's go fishing, pal. Let's go to the mall <laughs> today. <laughs> Excuse me, you want to go to the mall I saw, today? I saw a clip from How I Met Your Mother today also, uh, recently. 100 milliliter absinthe uh, made with worms. Oh, it's actually made with the worms. All right, I'm going to have to look for that then because that seems like that would be super cool. Do not get bad absinthe. Do not get bad as without considering the consequences, but especially do not get bad absinthe. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. That's why, like I said, I was joking about yeah. like I was, if they had a quality one. absinthe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it was the, uh, the clip where uh, I think it must be Lily's bridal shower. And uh, they get her a, like what she thought was a gag gift. Of Robin's be, gift. Yeah. 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 And then she's like, don't don't open that box. Don't open yeah. that. Like she's, she's like, yeah. I'm looking at the box. Don't open that. And then yeah. she winds up switching the cards. Yeah. And the grandmother's like, we've used this for centuries. Yeah. My mother used yeah. it. And her and, mother used it before. And her grandmother did too. <laughs> of course, that one was made of wood. <laughs> and then sometimes when grandpa was in Korea, that she used this a lot. But when he came home, he even used it a little bit too. <laughs> it's like they keep going with it. It's like yeah. it's one of those ones you're like, okay. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, that keeps being funny. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a good one. Available at Rum Runner? Ooh. Used to get mine on trips to Spain. Oh, my God. Right, we'll come back to this conversation. We got to go make a drink. We'll we be right back. It. All right. I almost spilled my drink reading your comment, H, when I walked in. Is that true? Or are you making a very amazing joke? Speaking of absinthe, recently learned that Marilyn Manson released an absinthe called Mansinth. <laughs> Marilyn Manson or I thought okay so it's either that or it's just him playing a synthesizer over his like his, like redo his songs of his using a synthesizer Manson Manson it's just him on the front like in a like a top and tails turncoat <laughs> all goth looking and missing a rib and or with the keyboard tie <laughs> keyboard tie <laughs> this little cummerbund Manson cummerbund no shirt but the jacket with the like tails it's it, like sitting at a piano it's man synth. It's sadly true. Oh my God. That's a Metallica song. All right. We're going to dive right into the drink here so that we don't yeah. get it uh, too. So, all right. Delicious beverages, hopefully, have been made. Uh, we went with, the, like I said, the recipe. So it was three quarters of an oh, ounce gosh. of simple syrup. Uh, well, you've lost your garnish. It was not the greatest garnish. My in garnish the world. is. I could have done better. My with drink the has been garnished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, an ounce of lime juice, and two ounces of the Probetus rum that we just had. So, okay. Uh, I did not have the absinthe absinthe spray that I mentioned earlier, but yeah, that's I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think a little we'll be all right. of, of absinthe. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. All right. Oh, aroma, I guess. <laughs> Should we just yeah. dive right in? <laughs> just drink it. Let's just drink it. All right. <laughs> Although I've already smelled it, so yeah. okay. Did not try it. I wouldn't might be his next victim. That's very true. Guardian down. Dear Lord. That's probably his plan. It's good. So I have one problem with this drink right now. And I don't mean to be like a complete Debbie Downer or whatever on this whole thing. I could probably just slam this whole thing right now. Oh, it's absolutely. Like, it's, it's so delicious. And yeah. just like, it's just like it's very easy, just easy yeah. drinking. Yeah. I probably, I think which he mentioned in the video as well. I think I probably would have liked using a turbinado shirt, like something to give a little bit more depth, but this yeah. is great. This is like a, just a very great, well-balanced cocktail. Yeah. This is delicious. Uh, that we got, and, and the, the lime, we got all the lime juice we needed for two drinks from one lime. One lime. I was shocked. You can, make, uh, Joe's limes? you can make eight more drinks because I brought you four more limes. <laughs> Good. There's going to be so many. I'm going to run out of rum before I run out of lime juice. 
but yeah, no, this is this is really fantastic. Ooh, I would like a little bit know, the glass. I would like a little bit more, uh, like I said, when it comes to some of that depth. But other than that, I think everything yeah. works very well in here. This is great. Seems like it, it is. It's like it almost could use one other note, and maybe that's the note you're talking about. Maybe a little extra depth from the from the sugar. Yeah, um, and I could see where the absinthe of that just kind of adds like a little bit of a little like aromatic to it. That might be the other thing that just makes it like the over the top, the perfect cocktail. But just this base alone is very delicious. But you get that rum kick, um, mm-hmm. a little bit in there mixes in well. The some of the like parts of the rum by itself that I that were, needed a little extra help are supported then by the lime and the sugar. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is yeah that is uh, really good. Yeah, easy. But yeah, like you said, that could be gone yeah i took a couple sips and you're like oh that's that's good and i was like i could just drink this whole thing down and i'd be like i'm done next one i could be like i have not actually seen the movie but i could i've seen the clip with like just be matthew mcconaughey where he's ordering all the drinks in uh, wolf of wall street i don't know if you've seen that clip. he's just just going through and he's like the waiter comes over and he's like and i won't do a matthew mcconaughey because that'd be embarrassing but he he says something effective like you know bring us two two martinis and then in five minutes bring us another two and then here's an extra tip in 20 minutes bring us another two and he's like and keep bringing them until we're just passed out wow i could see like okay. usually as you take the first sip you're like this is good make sure there's another one on yeah. the way in about five minutes because yeah. this is uh very delicious in that way also delicious from a audio visual standpoint could be our <laughs> website about beverages.com uh, where you can find all these kind of recipes uh, drinks that we have had whether it's been uh, spirits wine whiskey uh, water sodas all kinds of things throughout the year smoothies uh, they're all there at about beverages.com if you only want the latest videos we'd love it if you would subscribe to us on YouTube uh, it would be greatly appreciated uh, you can watch everything that we have done there and if you only want audio shockingly we also have some websites for that, that too. Yeah, we got Spotify, that iTunes, a Google Podcast. If you have a favorite podcasting app, maybe uh, go search for those and uh, search for About Beverages and we'll probably be there if it's not one of those places. Hopefully, or if not, there soon. One or the other. Uh, and when you search for that stuff, shockingly, yes. also, another, a second shock. These other prompts. A second shock. Uh, this one is a, one that you were actually can be prepared for. You don't want to be shocked in other ways. Uh, there might be some uh, some other websites, some social media, some social media prompt? stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. you'd be prompted. Uh, the uh, the three pillars of social media, which for us are TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one that we use most often to let you know what is going on here at About Beverages. Like earlier this evening, when I tweeted that we are about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, which we do most Thursday evenings around five thirty Pacific. Yep, ish. Ish. <laughs> uh, so when we get together, try some try some beverages. Maybe perhaps a mixed drink. Perhaps perhaps not. But we'll try all kinds of different things and uh, hang out with you guys and chat. And uh, also throughout the week, Andrew's going to keep you up to date on what he is doing in the gaming world and what refreshment he will be having as he is uh, journeying through those said games. Uh, so for all the latest at About Beverages, follow us on Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should... Give it a shot. I thought you were gonna say give it a cocktail. Give it a give it a give it some I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to come up with something and And that is a podcast. Fresh lime is stuff to be it it is amazing how much a different like I it is so true. Yep. You can obviously get by if you're in a hurry. Like have like I, I usually will have both. Sometimes I will have limes or lemons. I didn't today, so thankfully Keith was able to grab some. Um but like, uh, you know, so I will have those on hand and sometimes like, oh, I've just got, you know, sometimes you just have the, the bottle of lime juice for just if you're just trying to do something really quick. But there, yep. there is a big difference when you do the freshly squeezed. There's just a little extra tart, just a little extra everything. And it just comes through in the beverage and it just makes such a big difference. That's what she said. Keep them coming, champ. <laughs> Isn't there an O in country? Nope. Uh, that's the question. Oh, what is that? Oh yeah, <laughs> Quagmire's cross country tour. Isn't there an O in country? Nope. <laughs> I would like my weekly conversation delivered by phone conference, please. You may have it, cultist. You may have it. Most Thursdays until one brother bolts the. <laughs> yeah, it's true. This is true. Yeah. This is very true. Yeah, ten out of ten could happen again. You never know. Yeah, no. This is this is really good. Like I, this, definitely now. I will have this in my mind as opposed to what I usually always thought of when I thought of a daiquiri, which was like the people ordering a frozen very drink weird or, foos, yeah. frozen foo-foo kind of yeah. stuff. Yep. Which those have their place. But of course that's just usually what I thought. And for some yeah. reason, always what came to mind first was a banana daiquiri. Yeah. 
which is a bit of a turnoff. Strawberry like, daiquiri. Yeah. Chocolate daiquiri. Oh, wait, no. Maybe. We can look at this stuff. <laughs> Espresso martini is very popular right now, too. Speaking of martini. Martini I was glass. the only glass, like a lot of times, yeah, they'll serve them in like these kind of more coupe, the coupe style glass. glasses, but yeah, coupe I had glass. martini glass, so I went with that. Good night, Bevy Brothers. Guardian Down, thank you for being Good here. Night. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, also joining us in a beer to yeah. start the evening. That was super cool, Guardian Down. Great it really notion, was. Blueberry muffin. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, definitely. 10 out of 10. Would get that one again, but it's not four of them. <laughs> would, would get another one. Uh, definitely, definitely worth it. Said game and not being Diablo. I mean, you never go. It could be Diablo tomorrow. We might be playing some Diablo. I don't want to give it away yet. Spoilers. <coughs> oh, he doesn't like it anymore. Only took that fourth, that fourth <coughs> sip. Goes down the wrong yeah, pipe. You know, enjoy way. it. I had that like a few nights ago, and it was a but it was Kazoon <coughs> tight. Thank it was, you. It was whiskey going down the wrong pipe. Oh, that is awful. Oh, burn. That is awful. Was it on Whiskey Wednesday? or <laughs> No, thankfully it wasn't no, on stream. Okay. It was in the evening. Okay. It might have still been a Wednesday. Depending on the brand, the bottled lime juice is not bad. Both are far superior to any bottled mixers. 100%. Yeah, like I said, there's a couple. I think it's, again, maybe you'll frown upon. I think it's like real lime juice is the one I have bought before. There's like real lime and real lemon juice. Those are the two when I bought them as bottles. Yep. It's basically as backup. Like if either our limes have gone bad, forgotten right. to have them in the house, it's like yep. I want to have something that's going to last. But this does make a difference. I'm never not going to say that. Just saying that I feel a deceived Bevs. I troll people in the hype train so you could afford that game. I'm just saying maybe that's what's going on tomorrow. You don't know until you find out. So you show up tomorrow. I've tweeted enough. I know you're probably not on Twitter. Probably hate the social media things. I get it. I get it. It's already tomorrow for, for Cultist. Oh, that's true. Well, you'll find out today then, Cultist. Yeah, they'll find out a little <laughs> bit later today. Hmm, that is good. <laughs> that is delicious. Five, it's what, four. Is it four in the morning? It's 4 a.m. and you must it, be little, is it eight hours? Nine, nine, well, oh, that's right. Eight, only eight hours for him. So three in the morning. Is it eight hours? Is it three in the morning? Yeah. Yep. Three, th nine, oh, okay. three, oh, three. Should be told now your brother is correct. I will be playing Diablo tomorrow, if that's what you wanted to know. I will be playing Diablo tomorrow. Tomorrow for us. Tomorrow for us. Today for you. A little bit later today, today I will be playing that's Diablo right. for that's you. That's right. We will be playing some Diablo floors. Be, the, be kind uh, when you come in. <laughs> hmm. Mm. That's delicious. Yeah, it's just easy. It's just good, easy drinking. It's kind of like the uh, rum version of the margarita. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically. I mean, it basically is. It's yeah. what you swapped out. Yeah. I mean, so I think that's why, at least the way we make a margarita for the most part, when we do the, you know, the, the go to margarita. Right. Or the, or actually, we, I don't know, what did we, no, the go to is two, no. It was the two and two. Was the two, and the, and two. It was the go to, the two to one. I, think I do so. the two to one. I do two, I do two tequila, okay. one lime juice. Two ounces of tequila, one ounce of lime juice. And so that's agave. like, it's pretty much this. Yeah. And but then I use the agave sweetener. nectar, which then kind of adds, I think, a little more depth. Yeah. So I think based on that, I think that's what I would like in here. I think the rum is, is probably about perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I think it's good, like you said, it call. comes through, adds a spice. It's built up. I think if you just had that same amount of sweet at that three quarter ounce, but changed it to probably like a turbinado sugar or something yeah. like that, I think that would be perfect. This is a tasty beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, have you ever had a daiquiri? Uh, I can't drink uh, rum and ports. Well, I don't know, but I couldn't back in the day. I felt uh, like one glass was pure diabetes. Well. So, so yeah, that, that is definitely one of the reasons, like I said, yeah, the amount of sugar in rum a lot of times, not necessarily I've stayed away from that, but usually that's what I always think of when I think of rum is like, oh, it's going to be super sweet. Yeah, it's going to be whatever. Still, yeah. So that's why for me, it's always been scotch bourbon, uh, you know, or, or whiskey of some sort. But like this being a white rum, I think there's a little, there's a little bit less sugar in it, but still, um, like I said, yeah, I wouldn't, it, it definitely could be a lot of that for sure. Ports I like, but yeah, I, I would not have a lot of port, like I said, port, like there's a reason why it's like, it's, you know, kind of the little small, yeah. that's the reason why I haven't had a port, have a port in a long time. I used to like that. Was it the Tawny port that we used to get? There was that the 16 year, that Porto. And the rubies and the, yeah, no, I used to enjoy those quite a bit. Wow. That nice little hazelnutty kind of thing, like at least yeah, the that nutty. One. That's still kind of what I'll tell customers when they want to know the differences. In general, ruby is more fruit and tawny is more nut. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you do not. Um, it just makes you upset. Got nut. Do Americans have a tradition of making Christmas pudding that calls for rum? Not at least in our, fan, in our da, family. Da, da, do you, are you familiar with really Christmas pudding? Like a figgy well, there pudding? Is a figgy pudding. It's probably that. 
or maybe it's a bread pudding. I don't know if that has rum in it or not. I had some, somebody made bread pudding once with eggnog, and that was delicious. Tawny Port is nice. Yeah, that that is yeah. my choice. I've had both. Mm. I, I prefer the like I, you know, again with anything. Start making it now. Yeah, start making it now. No figgy pudding. I think okay. No. Yeah, I don't. At least not in our family, we've never made anything like that. No. Classically, like I said, to our traditions are usually more around meatballs and cocktail weenies and <laughs> and herring and dips of herring. Yeah, yep. Always got to have the herring around New Year's for sure. <laughs> The pickle is, is it pickle? It's pickled herring, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. Da, 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 it's pretty delicious. Da, 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 pickled herring. herring. That's it's pretty good. good. Well, Christmas, yeah. what? A little over six months away. <laughs> God, it's practically here. Well, we're talking about Christmas here, so. Um, I've had tawny and ruby. I've had both. Like I said, I prefer the tawny port. But again, like anything, like I was gonna say, I will, you know, I'll always be interested to try more of something because you never know. And it's like, oh, I just didn't have a good one, right. or I didn't have a pickled herring. Yikes. It is definitely an acquired taste, but it's a very like I don't know maybe I do like maybe uh, yeah. one half of HJ. I don't know if they would uh, talk about it. It's a very German thing, as far as I know. It's true that America considers the end of Thanksgiving to the beginning of the festive season. I would say. I mean, that's you talking about for like Christmas. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what you're. Yeah, only 180 <laughs> shopping days till Christmas. I know, God. Yeah. In a way, yeah, Thanksgiving kind of kicks it all off. But yeah, then I, as I, far as the holiday season, yeah, that gets done. And then now it's like, let's get up the Christmas tree and I, see, I'm, Christmas I'm, decorations. I'm good with all that stuff if that's what you, you know, celebrate 100%. But yeah. like the stuff I don't like is when people are already playing, especially here in the States, they're already hitting Christmas music before Thanksgiving. It's like, Usually it and starts, you and I have yeah. talked about that, like I said, because the stores will start putting stuff in. I get some of that. It's it's annoying. But it's like, why skip over a good holiday? It feels like yeah. you're just like leaping over good parts, at least for me. Yeah. Because I have good experiences of that. Like I said, you're leaping over good times in your life because of this other thing. It's like, I, I like Halloween. I like yeah. Thanksgiving. I like, I like Chris. I like all these things. Give them their, due, give them their proper due. Yep. I mean, let me put the turkeys out in my yard. Let me put up my <laughs> ships for Columbus Day. I celebrate. All, let me put up all the trees for Arbor Day. I celebrate all the things. All of them. But yeah, I don't like said that. Yeah, that is kind of like the big kickoff is around then. Yeah, that is that is uh, that's pretty good. Quite enjoyable. That was quite enjoyable. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I needed more. You didn't, but a I tanker. did. Make a, tanker. Make a tanker. Oh, speaking of that, not really, but it kind of tied into. I don't know why. Maybe think of it. Did you see about Anchorstein? No, they will no longer be sold outside of California. It was like a big announcement really? this week. Yeah, they are actually going to be. It's like let is me, that like a let me look like up the a article business here. strategy kind of thing? Let me look up the article because I saw it on Twitter and people were like, "Oh no, oh um, no!" They were like, "Oh no!" Uh, Hi, stop all sales. Yeah, okay. that's not be good. Only going to be sold in California from now on. Huh. Arbor Day dinner just doesn't compare to Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's <laughs> fair. Fair. <laughs> uh, I find Christmas to be too commercial and I've tried to scale it back a little. I've opted these days to buy gifts uh, to the family instead of the individual and instead buy one uh, to one gifts for birthdays. That's really nice. Cult. It's like, yeah, any, any way you choose to do that stuff. Yes. Uh, all of a lot of the holidays, especially Christmas, it has gotten very commercialized. And as much as uh, you can kind of bring that back to where it should be. I totally agree with that. I like that. Um, Reason behind hmm. the changes is the time intensive and costly brewing and packaging requirements. According to a brand representative, owner Fritz Maytag of the uh, Maytag refrigerator company yeah. saved the company from bankruptcy in 1965 uh, before selling to Keith. Oh, Gregor uh, oh, yeah. and Tony, Tony Foglio in 2010. Sapporo acquired the company in 2017. Sapporo's ruining and everything. <laughs> I know where the poison is. <laughs> That's what I felt like. Yeah. God damn it. They're destroying everything. Although we had that stone beard. It was totally fine. Yeah. Maybe they're only ruining this. But yeah, no more anger. Huh. I, I was never a big steam. I know that was always a Sanderson favorite. And I, yeah, like, yeah. Was that, that was that was he literally had a wedding. keg of that at his wedding. Yeah. Was the anchor's the, I, yeah. I was never like, because it was just always super bitter. Mm -hmm. Super bitter. I don't know but if I feel it that way anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm but saying. Have I might we have had it? I think we've had it since then, though. We've had something. We've tried it. Did we? Yeah. Maybe did we have one of their Christmas? Maybe beers? the holiday. Yeah. Maybe. Huh. Wow, that's weird. Okay. You don't know what you got till it's gone. 
It never even looked Goodbye, for Goodbye, Ankerstein. I know. I wonder, I wonder if you can find a bottle of it. All of a sudden, it's like, this bottle of Ankerstein is $18. Yeah. It's one of the last ones huh. in Arizona. Can't find it anymore. Plus, okay. Pete's Coffee is closing its Oakland Distribution Center and more Bay Area food intel. Okay. Hmm. Good to know. Uh, wait, so what do they do? Do they check the residential ID before it's selling it to you? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it'd be you fine if you bought it. You can go to California and buy it. It's just that it will not be. So distributors, like I said, with alcohol and stuff like that, they can dry, like they can go to all these other states, but they have to set up and it's very costly, obviously, to be able to go to all those places. So now we have to go to California to get our... Uh, Russian our, River. our Russian River and our anchor steam. <laughs> our anchor steam. <laughs> Weirdly anchor. enough, when we come back, we only have Russian River only beers Russian in our River. car. That's right. That's right. That's all we have. Uh, huh. I have seen, I don't know if you've, you've looked at all, but they have finally changed a lot of their policies. The brewery now ships to Arizona. Like you can now ship to Arizona with brewery Russian beers. River? Brewery beers. Oh, brewery. So if you're ever okay. interested in actual brewery beers, again, I should like, look at the... Because you can, if you yeah. do an order over $200, shipping is free. Okay. Um, and then I think under that, it's like a flat, like it's, it's like not even that flat charge is not bad, but like if that'd be something like maybe we get together at some point and be like, Oh, we should order a case and like, yeah, put together something <laughs> actually because brewery beers over $200 would be like four beers. Yeah. Four, <laughs> like maybe five of the ones that we like. Yeah. yeah of the course. ones that we like, yeah. but yeah. Oh, it's not hard to get the minimum. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't, yeah. No, I'm sure you that. can still get like, if you were part of their, you know, their, uh, collective. Group, yeah. The collective. Yeah. Part of their subscription stuff anymore. Like I said, you probably could get it. Uh, you know, because you used to get a discount on top of that, but still, like I said, if you just wanted to place an order or two every year, like I said, you can totally do that, which is nice. Is a solid option. <clears throat> solid option. Are you perusing? I'm perusing. Potential... What, do you, what do you think uh, could be for next week? You know, <laughs> do, do you have any have any thoughts, ideas? So the only thing, and I don't know if you want to go down this road. Here the only thing I, that I have in mind right now, and we can come up with other things before then, is... So we have something that we just started carrying at the store. It's a, a an, an aperitif called oh. Amaro. It's another Italian sort of thing along the lines of Campari. Okay, so I have heard people talk about that and okay. substituting it in in certain beverages okay. instead of that and using that. I am interested so, in that. Okay, so we just started carrying a... It's, it's not a Trader Joe's label, but supposedly a Trader Joe's exclusive. And we could try that. Fitz says you know he'll, he'll drink it with um, uh, a whiskey and Amaro together. Uh, another one of my coworkers, he was saying that he likes it with um, that and like a, like a sparkling wine. So we could do that and do something with that. If, if you want to, I would like to do that as long as we can come up with a cocktail. Okay. Well, let's, so we'll, let's, we'll let's start doing some, yeah, let's maybe uh, Chris, the TikTok uh, not a bar. I, I want to, I want to say, cause there's, there, there are two different people that I follow in there that have, I'll show you the other one. Maybe when, like I said, when we uh, wrap things up here, the way his videos are put together are great. Like it's, he's like, he's very, it's, it's a different person. Like he's very dry. Like he's like, you know, like he'll make something and it's like, uh, I'm going to do an impersonation. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's, he's fantastic. He's got this great, like solid, like just good beard and everything okay. else. And he's like, Oh, I'm oh making, it's a cope. let's say we're making, yeah, like cope. Exactly. He'll be like, Oh, we're making a brown dirt. Like pretend we're making a brown dirt. We'd pour it. And then he'd go like this. That's delicious. It's this, it's that, it's whatever. Let's make it. And then, and then he gives the recipe and he does the thing. It's just like, and every time it's the same thing. And he's always like, that was unexpected. It's the, and like, like it's like, he's just, and it's like so perfect for not only the format that he's on, but it's just like, okay, this is very entertaining. Like I've followed him for a while now too, but yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of different tomorrows. It, like this is just one that we just started carrying. So we can give it. I, well, because I actually was, tried this one. He said it was good. So, because he said he said he drank a lot of them in Italy. So he's okay. had them before. So there are different amaros because there are yeah. not different Camparis. Because I was like, well, maybe I just don't like this yeah. Campari. Well, you're like, Aperol, no, you're all, Campari. This is yeah. your only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was the blueberries, Sam? Wonderful that you stopped in really quick. Yes, it was. Uh, it was very good. So for me, the aroma was like a ten. It literally smelled like a blueberry muffin. It was yeah. fantastic. Very good. The taste was more uh, toward the blueberry. I'd say it was missing a little bit of the sweet, like maybe yes. some lactose sugar or yeah. something like that. Maybe it was kind of needed in there. So I kind of had to adjust my brain. So the taste for me was like a seven and a half or an eight. The aroma was a 10, but it was still very good. And I can't wait to try other stuff from them. So yeah, yep. good recommendation, Sam, 100%. We've used uh, Fernet Bronco Amaro. There's also Fernet Menth, I believe, which is a hint. Yeah, Menth, I would think, would be minty. A hint minty. A hint of minty. A hint of yeah, minty. Yeah, so very good call, Sam. So yeah, if you're, 
if you were wanting to try one of those, like I said, that one is also really good. And obviously we, I'd love to find some other things, which we're going to keep looking for more stuff from great notion. So it was a great suggestion. A hundred percent. Oh, wait, I'm, oh, I missed one here. I was half tempted the other day to ask for your address, Baz. One of our locals have been playing uh, with his cider press and had come up with toffee, strawberry scones and lemon ciders. Oh, my God. That sounds amazing. Hmm. Okay. That sounds fantastic. We have talked about a few times. Actually, we were suggested not to get a P.O. box. If we were going to do something, we should get like an actual like UPS thing because then they don't check if it's alcohol. Like whereas UPS like actually like scans more for like if people want to. Because secondly, you're not supposed to send like alcohol through the mail. Right. Like there's a lot of where so if people want to send you stuff, it's better to do like a UPS store like box. Oh, where you pick okay. stuff up than the post office. Okay, pro tip for people. Pro tip. Um, but yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, no, that's that sounds really good. Right. So we have a beginning. So if we have, yeah. So so we would taste that, do the cocktail again. So we would need to come up with something to start with. Yeah. Um, eventually, we can do. Um, I will open it. Uh, I'm surprised my wife has not found it yet. I did buy a bottle of the um, barrel Vantage, which you have not had. Oh, that's right. I remember which that. Which that okay. is one of the ones I really liked. Okay. So I want to like kind of maybe she has help. help uh, found it because you've been hiding it. I have it down below, which it seems like she had enough other things to like look at at the time. Kind of like, you know, squirrel. Well, now she's got the rum. I know she was, she was very that. excited so about the was. rum when she yeah. came in here. So now you have that. I can't believe she didn't. Ask, she, that's literally been sitting on the counter there for weeks. I kept waiting for her to ask about it. When she did, I was like, well, I'm not going to say anything. I can't believe. I don't know. Because you have other deliciousness for her. I to don't enjoy. know. What, <laughs> exactly. And we're not talking about whiskey. Oh. No, no, that's not true. Really good. No, that's not true. <laughs> Wait, I've got that too. Really good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Disappointing. Yeah, that's how my deliciousness is. It's disappointing. Um, but uh, yeah, we should have that at some point, maybe the next like two or three weeks. We'll open that one up because I want to uh, I want to uh, avenge is a strong word, but I want to affix your knowledge of what you think of barrel. Oh, barrel. Of bar- yeah. Of barrel yeah. Uh, bourbons. Because uh, just your first experience with that was a little bit of a letdown. Compared to all the other things we had bought right. for the for the annual viewer appreciation yeah. show. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, it had let us down a little bit. It did a little, a little bit for sure. That was probably wound up being one of my. I still liked it, but it's and I've, and we've had it over there since then, right? Didn't you have like a little another bit of that when we were over at Joe's at some point? I swear, maybe, like we had, a, I swear maybe we had we another went little, back into it. Yeah, yeah, because now our and and I think then it was like because yeah. our expectations I think it, were down yeah, here, yeah. we were able to leap over the bar, yeah. able to pull vault over. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to go raid someone right now. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go say hi to Haji right now. He's playing some Diablo 4. He's super nice, hangs out in the channel a lot. And uh, like I said, yeah, he plays a variety of games, including Destiny and a lot of other things, too. So go say hi to him if you so choose. We would appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back next Thursday, 530 Pacific, 830 Eastern with it sounds like some... Possibly uh, uh, Amaro and Amaro-based uh, and Amaro-based beverage. Amaro-based beverage. Maybe yes. we could make a Negroni with Amaro. Maybe there is. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We will look for a cocktail. Check it out. I swear I've got something. We'll try and uh, track that down. I would think Keith Ryan. I. So the seagrass is that not one of the one? Is that the one though with the? Does that have the brandy in it? There was one of them one time when we looked at a barrel and Keith was like, "I don't know about the peach brandy." Remember when we looked at those? I do remember. And you were like, "But it's okay." I mean, you you pushed it like because you worried about the sweetness, which I get. Of course. So. I mean, I would, yeah, like I said, I, I've liked a lot of those. So, but yeah, he will have to try those at some point. But yeah, let's go say hi to Haji and we are going to get out of here. Thank you guys for being here. Everyone, I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you for being here. Have a, appreciate a it. good rest of your evening. I will be on tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 o'clock no, I Eastern, like peach. ish, as they say. I like peach. No, it's not that you don't like peach. It was just like when you <laughs> saw peach brandy and there was something, was it like then also maybe crib, like rum, like maybe there was, something else. There was else, like two yeah. things back to yeah. back. Within that list, but maybe they if cancel each other out. Good night, cultists. Each other I will better. see you tomorrow morning yes. for some uh, maybe Diablo Four. Who knows? Um, but yeah, there was something about that where you were like, ah, I think that might be yeah. at least initially looking at it. You yeah. thought it was going to be on the sweeter side. Now I want to edit together a Dukes of Hazard type intro for the AB podcast. I mean, Dukes of Hazard is a little dicey these days, yeah, especially with the generally. Yeah, <laughs> especially with the generally. Good night and thanks for a fun evening, Baker. Thank you for being here. As always, appreciate it. All right, we're gonna go say hi to Haji, and we're gonna see you guys. Uh, or at least I will see you tomorrow. Keith will see you next next week, week. next Thursday. If I can find all the buttons, there we go. Good night, everyone. Thank you again. Good night. Good night. You can do it without subversive racial references. Perfect. <laughs>